Today, we're going to talk about why castor oil isn't working for you to induce your labor. And here's how to make it work. So stay tuned, okay? All right, ladies, pardon the glare. This is the castor oil that I've been using and showing everybody. And this is like my third bottle of it because it has so many uses. But the primary use that we've been talking about in my YouTube channel is actually to induce labor. So I've successfully induced my labor two times previously with castor oil. You know, the first time it was a little bit rocky and I wasn't quite sure what I was doing and I made some mistakes. And then I learned from that. And then for my second pregnancy, I was able to just have one solid, perfect run of castor oil. So a lot of people have been watching my other videos and if you haven't seen them, I'm gonna post them in the link below. So there will be a couple of castor oil videos that I've already recorded. And here are some of the questions that I'm getting. A lot of times people take the castor oil and here's the mistakes that they make. Number one, they take castor oil without any food. You need to take it with food. You need to take it with a full meal. And then a lot of times people say, well, should I take it before I eat? Should I take it after? In my case, I always took it while I was actually eating. So I think what I did with my son was I actually mixed the two tablespoons of castor oil into white grape juice and I had a pizza party with my friends. So I drank down the, the mixture first and then I ate like two slices of pizza made sure that I drank plenty of water. I took it at about 7.30 p.m., maybe 8 p.m. And then I was probably in bed just before 10 p.m. I woke up at about 2.50 and noticed that I was having some stronger contractions. And because they weren't so strong that I was like needing to breathe through them or anything like that, I literally just went right back to sleep. So that's my other key ingredient, one, two, three, what are we at now? It doesn't matter. Um, drink plenty of water. Second, rest. Rest, sleep is like one of the primary ingredients to making this whole thing work. You need to be relaxed. Your body needs to be relaxed. If you're frantic and trying to do jumping jacks and get yourself to go into labor, it's not going to work the way that it should. You need to be relaxed. You need to trust in this system. You need to go to bed and know that when you wake up, you're going to be in labor. It's really, it's a little bit of a mind game because your body isn't going to do what it's supposed to if you're all freaked out and like waking up every half an hour, like checking your watch, looking at the time and wondering like, am I contracting? Should I do some jumping jack? Should I do some sit up? Should I run around that block? No, like no, 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 just relax just go to sleep for me what works best is this two tablespoons of castor oil i do have a link for this in the description this is the one that i use this is the one that i have suggested to a lot of other people uh, there are a couple of bottles that you can find at walmart i've had um one time I went to Walmart recently within the last couple months and found a bottle for $2.95 at Walmart. The next time I went in, it was gone and it was replaced with, I swear, they have like Sky Organics now in Walmart. I'm not sure, but it was more expensive in Walmart than it was on Amazon. So be careful and watch your prices if you're trying to be thrifty. If you don't have Amazon Prime, I will include a link below so that you can get Amazon Prime and get two day free shipping. It's just the trial and you can cancel it. So um, I do have Amazon Prime, but like I said, you are able to sign up for the free trial, order this, get it shipped two days and then cancel your Amazon Prime if you wish. So just keep that in mind as well. So I wanna tell you about the mistakes that I made when I was trying to induce myself with castor oil for the first time with my daughter. It was 2009. And the first time that I took castor oil, my midwife had actually suggested it to me. So I took the castor oil. I took, I took probably about half the amount that I was supposed to. I probably only took about one tablespoon and I didn't eat for the entire day because I didn't want to have the laxative effect. I was afraid of that. And actually on the flip side, it ends up kind of being good because it cleans you out in time for labor. So when you're to the pushing stage, uh, you might not accidentally go to the bathroom while you're pushing, which you know what, if it happens, it happens. So I didn't take any food like all day long. So then when I finally did it and did it properly, I ended up doing breakfast for dinner. And what I did was I had like pancakes, eggs and bacon, <laughs> all sorts of like 
just tons of food and then I took the castor oil in some orange juice slammed it down and then sure enough I went into labor and my daughter was born the next morning so just so you know there are definitely mistakes that can be made with the castor oil just follow my recipe like I said I have videos below but rest is really really important ladies don't take this and be checking your watches every 10 minutes and wondering if you're having contractions you need to relax do it for yourself your body needs that strength for labor so definitely drink plenty of water after you've had your full meal and taken your castor oil okay it's really important and definitely will get the process going and give you the results that you want if there are any questions please feel free to ask in the comments below i try to answer them as often as possible if you have had success with this please share your story i would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day